Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree Canada haul for you today. Oh, oh. This is all of the stuff I picked up at the Dollar Tree in Canada and brought home to share with you. So let's get started. It's a big one. First and foremost, I grabbed these. I have not seen these at my Dollar Tree, but this is our regular Dollar Tree packaging. But these come with like weighted little flower shapes. So you can stick these upright on a table so you don't have to do helium. I love these for decorating. They are a lot of fun. So I grabbed a pack of that. You get three of them for a dollar fifty in Canada, but that is a dollar fifty Canadian. So we pay US, I get the money, it gets converted. It works out to be about a dollar twenty-five for me or so. Now, um the Dollar Trees in Canada get a lot of Michaels stuff, the recollection brand. How often and what, how it works, I don't know, but I do see some of the recollection stuff in there when I'm there. This is two sheets of 12 inch by 24 inch um, paper, succulent. It's just like scrapbooking paper. This is by American Crafts. I do see American Crafts stuff in Target's dollar spot on occasion. But it's just scrapbooking paper. I think it's fun. And I think this would be really fun to decorate like a bulletin board or something. So it's 12 inches long by 24. You can also probably put this through your cutting machine if I had to guess. But at first I thought it was um, vinyl, but it says paper sheets. So fun. I grabbed that for general crafting. Now, oh, I see what's in here oh yes I think this is just like ours it's just a little Cadbury mini egg but I don't know if this is with the American chocolate or Canadian I'm gonna say it's the Canadian version but it's just a Cadbury egg I grabbed it for somebody for a friend um I found Canada dry zero sugar or zero sucre blackberry. I had one on the way home and they are delicious. Now, I, I'm pretty sure we get these on occasion. The last time I was up in October, I found this size in the sugar-free cranberry and it's delicious. Um, curious, yeah, aspartame. So I think it's the same as we get here. But these are in 500 milliliter bottles. So I grabbed two for fun because I don't often see the sugar-free here. Um, usually it's gone before I get to it. So I'm gonna start, I have to start saving the plastic bags for when I'm on vacation. And uh, I love it because they have the little maple leaf on there. So I have to start saving more of those. Okay, next up. I found, ooh, for finishing cross stitch. This is velour and it's 12 inch by 20 inch. And it's like fake velvet, it's just velour. But I think it's gonna be fun to back some of my cross stitching projects when I put them in a berry bowl. So I've not seen these here yet. And some of the stuff other people will have seen, they're just not at my store, so it's new to me. So I got a gray and a red because I thought these were the fun colors. And yeah, just for finishing cross stitch, we have coffee. It's getting ready to pour out. Mm. Okay, then I found for some gift giving, just two little boxes. These were $1.25 or 50 cents, heavy duty craft boxes. They also had one in glitter, but I just wanted to go plain. So I got a craft paper and a white. And doesn't give me measurements. These are imported by Multicraft, Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. So I think it's a local company to the Dollar Trees. But these are nice, like one and a half to two inch thick boxes and great for wrapping gifts and things. And for me, I start that now for the holidays, like collecting stuff like that. 
Ooh, I'm excited to see what these look like. So I picked these up. I've not seen these at my store, but it says it's a seven pocket organizer. It is by Essentials, but this is in English and French. I'm hoping it's to organize my socks or my underwear in my drawer. And I think that's what it's for. Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. So you can line them up one pair per. I could get a couple, honestly, a couple pair of socks in each one of these and sort them by color, a couple pair of underwear. If you do a lot of buffs or bandanas or your little people, you can put whole outfits for your young ones in here because that definitely feels like it would hold a whole tire children, children's outfit. And this is a week's worth of clothes for them. Um, and it is in this mesh. And these were $1.75. And I think their prices are going up like ours are going up to $1.50. Theirs are going up to $1.75. So it might be when they bring in new product. But like, that looks like they have towels in here or you can do tank tops or leggings. Nice organized, the Marie, Maria Condra way to do it. But that's, there we go. That's a good at, uh, visual of how big you get. So it's probably three inches, two inches, two inch sections. So I'm gonna put these when I redo my sock drawer and then I can put my black work socks in one and then my athletic socks in the other. So I'm excited for that. Ooh, I have not seen this here, but this is the Starburst Cherry. And I, in the summertime, mix cherry with green apple and get like a candy apple. And I, I have a hard time sometimes finding the cherry drink mixes. And you get six sticks, same price, same everything. So I'll save those for summer. Now, you're going to be dying. If you've seen these at your store. Ooh, I, it's broken. Oh, that made me sad. Oh, maybe I can fix it. I found this in the beauty section. And, but I'm sad if this is broken before I even use it, but we'll see. It, oh no, I don't think it's broken. It's a little piece of luggage. Guys, I'm dying. Oh, be gentle there, Lori. It is a little piece of rolling luggage, but it opens up and you can store little things in here. I'm dying. Um. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. The handle. It's not the best quality, not gonna lie. But is it stinking adorable? Yes. So you don't really get to lock it because when I try to push that down, the handle falls off. But it's still cute. It's so cute. Um, it just is kind of a mess. Look at it. It's a little rolling luggage. So this piece here, unfortunately, it doesn't stay shut. But we can just sit it somewhere and let it be cute, right? I mean, that's what we'll do. We'll just sit it somewhere, and its only job in life is to be cute. I mean, if that's what we have to do, that's what we have to do. Now, um, for cross-stitching, I found these little wooden rounds as well as an oval. But what I like about them for finishing is you see the divot in here? You can, it's recessed. So if I find, it's probably four and a half inch round in here, fabric, cover my cross stitch and stain this and seal it and then glue it in here. And now you have like a three dimensional, but it's recessed. So I grabbed two of the round and one oval. You could also do this and make a pin cushion in this, which I think would be super fun. Same thing, recess, $1.25. I love the little wooden things. Um, hold the phone. I got a lot of stuff in here, kids. All right, bag. I only got one because I was gonna get multiple. Oh, and I lost some of my glitter balls, but it's a, just a disco ball. 
which I thought was super fun. I'll hang it somewhere. But I just realized I'm missing a couple of the mirrors. I wonder if they're in here or did I lose them at the store? They might have been lost at the store. Yeah, they're not in my bag, but that's okay. Super fun. It is one disco ball and we all need a good disco ball, right? I think so. Let's do a picture with that. Thumbnail. Okay. Then in the hardware section, this is magic tape. It is adhesive hook and eye. So it's Velcro. And you get two little things just to have hardware. I thought it was fun. Also from the hardware section, they have this little thing. And these are cable ties, which are fantastic for lots of things, including like traveling or just organization in general. Take this out. So you get three, a black, a white, and a gray. And then you would like put your cables in here. You can, it locks over itself. So it's hold your cables. And then there's even a loop that you can hang it on a hook and it will hold your cables. So if you have, you know, under your desk or whatever, you can obviously um, use it. And you get three and they are stretchy. They're like a rubber and they're stretchy. I thought those were really cool. So I got a pack of those. And then it Canada day is July 1st. And I got a gnome glowing, a Canadian gnome that glows in the dark. You know, it's like a glow stick, a glow necklace even. So I got that cause I just thought it was fun to light up. You'll see, I got something else for Canada day slash whatever. Okay, dokie. We got some stuff in here. Um, I have seen other people hauling these, but I've never seen these at my store. This is a uh, yarn knitting loop, right? So you can put your yarn on it and you have to even have the hook and then you, you can loom. It's like a loom. That's what it's called. Yeah. And they call it a spool. Uh, but I believe it's called a knitting loom. And you can make like a scarf or a tube, tube hat or whatever in this shape. So I got one of those to try. Um, I found these. These have not made it to my stores yet. But this innocuous little thing is a travel bottle holder. Oh, I have tape involved. Hold on. Please hold, there's tape involved here, kids. If you get um, four travel bottles and they all fit in this specific size. So hang on, I'm getting this off. And they come in pink and blue, but I can't show it to you till I take all the tape off. Um, I don't know if I will use this for flying because it is a little big. Of course, it all depends on how long your trip is, too. But I don't think I need this much any product, but definitely driving. So, your lid, your lid holds on like that, right? It's all up in here. But when you take your top off, these come out like a wedge of fruit. And then... You fill them up and you have a squeezy top. And they squeeze pretty easy too. And what you could do when you get to your destination, and I would say you have to label these Sharpie, whatever, but when you get there, turn them over and let all the product come to the bottom, right? And then you'll know what they are and can take them out this way. I just thought this was super de duper fun. 
and it doesn't take up a lot of space and you can carry four different products. So we grabbed one of those, just one. Um, I did want to show you, I got a few Kinder Surprise eggs. So the last time I brought these home, there was some confusion with ooh, some of my subscribers who said we could get these here. We get Kinder Joy, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to open this. This is a Kinder Surprise. They are a different. They are different. So when you open ours up, right, they open like this. You have a toy on one side, and you have the candy. I think it's like a cream on the other side. These, what makes them illegal in the United States is this. Here's your egg, right? You open the egg and you have a toy encapsulated. So a Kinder Joy, you would open it this way. This is, the toy is sealed on one side and your candy is just here. This whole thing that encapsulates the egg is the candy. And that's why these are illegal in the United States. So you take your chocolate off and it does have milk chocolate and then white chocolate on the inside and the egg shakes around and then you open this and your surprise is inside so this is some type of toy I don't know what it is we'll figure it out but this is what makes it illegal here we are not allowed to have candy that has a toy or something non-edible encapsulated if that makes sense so I just wanted to show you that, that I smuggled the candy for you across the border. It happened. Um, bunches and bunches. Oh, I found some spices. This is some Spanish paprika, which I was out of. So I said, well, I need some paprika. So I got some of that and I love that they come in these bags. And then I found a barbecue kit for a dollar and 50 cents. So you get lemon pepper, Texas barbecue, steak and chop seasoning, and a medium spicy. And then they work just like ours. You open up the lid and you get your seasonings out for a dollar 25 or 50 and a dollar 50 for that. So I got some spices. Then they had some kit. I have all kinds of kits. I just have to locate them. I grabbed a couple more of these for Sarah. Well, I'll show you the kits, but the, I grabbed a power strip. This is not indicative to Canada. By the way, they use the same plug we do. I just haven't seen these here and I need one to take on my trip this summer because I can plug this. I'll show you. It's very small, which is nice. And I only have to bring one power converter. I just have to make sure that my power converter can handle the three prong. And then I plug it into that, right? And now I have three US plugs to plug my chargers into. And it has a very small cord, which is what I wanted. And then I can just toss this in my luggage. And that's the point of it for me. Now, if my, I may get foiled if the charging brick that I have can't accommodate the three prong. I think it can, but we'll see. So I grabbed that just for travel for this summer. Okay, there was lots of kits. I have one more bag here. So let us see. I don't, I think this was it. Okay, this one, I'm gonna call this, I'm gonna say this is a knockoff for the Nickelodeon slime kits, but you get your slime, your solution and glitter for $1.50. Um, and it is a slime solution kit. So you get color slime glue, the activator and the glitter, and you mix this all together and you get slime. And I thought that would be so fun for somebody's little one. I'll probably give it to my coworker and let her do it with her son. But it says simply mix a preferred glue and activator in a bowl until slime begins to form, remove from bowl and knead. That's it, and then you can add your glitter to it. So you just mix these two together and you get slime. How fun, so I grabbed that kit. And then I thought I would do these. This is an embroidery kit. And it's just a green Monstera. But this, and I think we have some of these here, but this comes with your little hoop, your needle, your fabric, and your floss. 
for $1.50. And then I grabbed this kit here, which I have not seen this before, but this is fabric edition. It is a felt hoop kit and you can make a pig. Isn't that so sweet? And it has all the pieces that you need to stitch together to make a little hoop creation. And this is not Dollar Tree branded. And it just says basic sewing supplies. So you probably need like needle and thread, but it comes with all your directions, um, your hoop and your felt. So I thought, heck, for the hoop alone, it's worth $1.50. So that is super cute. So I grabbed that. And then we're down to the last few items that I picked up for my cooler for my lunch bag. Um, freezer. Put it in your freezer and then you can throw it with your lunch or whatever. And it has a little thing to hang it from. But I thought that was fun. I've not seen these here in that shape anyway. For my sink, I needed a new one of these. I need a new faucet is what I need. But for now, this is just a little sprayer. And for $1.50, okay. I've used these before. It's fantastic. Um, this is the Studio 112 brand. And they're just some, some fun heart-shaped paper clips for my planner. So I thought that was fun. I'm gonna try this erasable pen from the Dollar Tree. This is Incredible Novelties Erasable Pen. It does say that it's not um, recommended for legal or official documents because if it gets hot, it will erase. And if it gets cold, it will come back. But for fun, I use erasable markers in my planner all the time because I'm always changing plans. And then the last thing I got, I thought these were fun sparklers, um, the maple leaf for Canada Day. So I'm gonna try to burn these and use my little glow thingy on July 1st. I grabbed two cause I wanna get a good picture. And that my friends is everything I got at Dollarama, no lies, at the Dollar Tree in Canada. Also a lie, I forgot. They had um, sugar-free mints. So I got bubble gum, marshmallow. They had also uh, kettle corn. I did not get that. Uh, grape, sour grape, and sediments, which I think we get here, but these are all sugar-free. Now that is everything I got at the Dollar Tree in Canada. So I hope you enjoyed my Dollar Tree haul. I had so much fun shopping and I will talk with you later. Bye.